you might want to stay till the end of this video for you to know that visa route that is the fastest and easiest and the things that you can do for you to be able to come on that visa In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you the fastest and easiest route for you to migrate or move to the UK in 2022. Now, there are different routes and different types of visas, so I'm just going to be explaining this to you. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? If you're new here, you are welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it. And to my older returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate it. Kindly subscribe to this channel as it motivates me to put out valuable and informative content for you guys and turn on the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever I post a new video. So in today's video, like I earlier said, I'll be sharing with you the fastest and easiest route for you to migrate to the UK. Now, there are different visas on which you can come. There's the student visa, the tier 4 visa, there's the tier 5, which is a temporary worker visa, there's the skilled worker visa, which is a tier 2 visa, there's health and care worker visa there are several routes there's a global a global talent visa there is the youth mobility visa there is the, the global business mobility visa the high potential individual visa a lot of visas i have videos about the scale of visa and three new visas that will be introduced by the uk government in spring of 2022 so you might want to check that out as i went into a lot more detail about it on those videos check it up on my channel now let me get into the main reason why you click on this video by the way okay so i've shared with you a couple of visas that are easy and you can get but this is the easiest of them all in 2022 and it is the health and care worker visa recruitment is currently going on by care homes agencies um nhs trusts for care assistant or healthcare assistant as you might want to put it okay so this Temporary recruitment is going to go on for about 12 months. It started on the 15th of February, 2022. This is a very good opportunity for you if you feel like this is the route through which you want to come through. Now, there are a lot of advantages coming on the health and care worker visa as a healthcare assistant. Now, for the healthcare assistant role, the eligibility and requirements are quite minimal, okay? You do not need to have a qualification in health for you to come on this visa. Now, I'll be sharing with you a couple of things you can do in order for you to land the jobs and come on this visa. There are lots of advantages coming on the health and care worker visa if you are able to get a job with a care home, an agency or an NHS trust that is willing to sponsor you, okay? Majority of the times when you're applying for these jobs, apply for those ones that offer certificates of sponsorship. Number one advantage is that you can come with your dependents. So for many people, you might have family and you feel like, oh, can I come with my family and all that? Yes, you can come with your family, okay, on this visa. And this visa could be issued you three years or less or three years or more. So it could be up to five years, which is, you know, a path to settlement if you feel like after work you want to reside or settle in the UK and from then you can apply for your indefinite leave to remain and subsequently citizenship. So you see that this is a very good visa for you to come on. Another thing you have to note here is that for many of these visas I have mentioned, you might have to pay um, the immigration health surcharge, okay? But on this visa, that is crap for you. You don't have to pay that fee at all. It's so easy for you to, you know, come over without having to be financially burdened and all of that. The visa fees are subsidized. So if you're going to come, you're going to be paying around £232 for um, a visa of about three years or less. And then £464 for anything that is above three years. So you see that the visa fees are you know, subsidized. And then the most amazing thing is that it's a fast track process concerning your visa decision. So you see that this is a very quick route through which you can come to the uk migrate or move from wherever you are to the uk moving over to those things that you can do for you to stand a chance of getting these jobs or landing these jobs number one is that if you're not in the healthcare setting you have to try and take unpaid internships or volunteer service in a care home or in a hospital get to know what they do learn how to take vitals learn how to um, give personal care to patients learn how to do and um, the manual handling moving and all of that stuff so you will be able to 
to confidently say in the interview that you have skills and experience this is so important because employers will not want to take someone who has more skills and experience over someone who has not even been in the field at all okay so this is so important another thing you can do is to take free online courses so i have videos concerning all of this on my channel you might want to check all of them out so there are free courses online that you can take, get certifications, add it to your CV. And for this CV, you have to craft it very well, okay? Write a very professional CV, the one that is very catchy. That when employers see, they'll be like, no, we need to give this person a chance. That's what you're going to be doing, right? And then another thing is for you to apply aggressively. I tell you it is saturated right now because a lot of people are getting to know about this and are putting in applications. You don't apply for one, 20, 50, 100 and say you're done. You, you can't apply anymore. For some people at the first instance, like when they're applying the first time, they're getting interviews, they're getting jobs. But for some people, you have to apply for even more than 100 care homes or you know like that so you have to really really put in the effort so this is what i have for you today if you have enjoyed this video so far please give it a huge thumbs up share to everybody that you know okay you can go on my channel and watch the videos on the healthcare assistance routes and how to move and everything that you have to do in order for you to move over okay subscribe to this channel as it motivates me to create useful and informative content for you guys and to like come your way again next time you guys bye